Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And today we're jumping into those cash games, playing both 2-5 with a $500 buy-in and 1-2 with a $200 buy-in. I just had a winning streak broke, so hopefully we're starting up a new one today. All right, small or button open. We'll call flop a two pair here, ace, king, three. Um, see a bet. I don't know if we should really have any raises on this board in theory, because we're just not going to have a ton here. Um, I do think heads up, though, against a opponent we have like no history with, we can do some raising, trying to really get value from like their ace -X. See the call nine on the turn. Going to over bet turn now. Jams, here we go. King three, ace queen. And we hit the full house on the river. What a way to start the day. A button opens, we three bet. Just jams. Um and oh i think in theory i'm supposed to call but jeez, oh, it's such a massive jam guess call ah oh, man if they four about we just flat man all right we're calling this might be a mistake get in pretty bad flop big draw and we're gonna lose all the profit we had to start the day <laughs> i mean ah oh, jeez, i don't know full felt so nitty but Maybe verse that size that just don't have bluffs. I don't know because I have like no history with this player, but um, now they're open jamming 200 bucks after. Okay. So if they're doing stuff like that, like, I mean, whatever. We call these jack suit. King jack also close against the limp. I think it's going to be player dependent. I think it's okay to raise here. Although it does get tough out of position with king jack offsuit sometimes. Uh, queen 5 through, put the c bet out. See a call nine turns. So we pick up a gutter. Picking up the gutter, I'm gonna go ahead and barrel turn. But like their ace highs in a tough spot, smaller pairs like a five, pocket sixes, pocket sevens. Takes quite a while in calls. I'm gonna go off a timing tell here in barrel. Um, I would actually probably give this up a decent amount. But once they tank call turn, I th versus this player type, I think that's an actual tank. So if they're close to folding turn, then they might be close to folding river. Uh, end up getting the tank call by queen seven suited. So bluff doesn't work out. Unfortunately, we run that one and no good. Open it called five, four, three. Uh, going to bet. Think checking reasonable too. When we get raised, I think we call. King it turn. If we see a check, I think I can start bluffing. Uh, repping it. I can have like ace king makes some sense. King x of hearts makes sense. Goes 36. I'm gonna call six of hearts river. Uh, turning our hand to bluff is actually pretty interesting at this point. I think we have a little showdown too, actually, in a weird way. It goes really small. Uh, with a heart, I think I'm gonna bluff this jam this year. I don't think people are balanced enough to have hearts here. Uh, I'm not saying necessarily that's the case with John, I'm not sure. I'm just saying on average, I don't think so. So with a heart in my hand here, I'm going to bluff like I had the heart draw, which I definitely could have as we've played. And we get it through. Here, see the cutoff open, a button flat. We're going to three bet as a squeeze here. So again, there's this is a little bit different. Like three bets I can still find going a bit wider in these spots. It is tough because if he flats here, this is not the greatest hand to play post um, out of position, but I still think I prefer three betting here. Get call and flop the flush. Very nice. I'm going to go small here. Um, hope being they have an ace or a little something. Smaller flush obviously be perfect, but even better when we flop the flush here is one of the overs comes out as well. Oh, raises. Um, normally, I think this is just a flat. Actually, it is going to be a flat because they're in position. They're going to be able to jam this turn when it's clean. 
I don't want to make them have a fold with an ace. Once we just call, I think he's going to jam all his ace acts here. Uh, once we decide just to call, whereas he may make some hero folds on the, the flop if we jam. Checks, eight river, obviously not great, but still got to go for value jam. Uh, when they only have 98 left, 157 in the middle. Uh, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> nuts versus the second nuts? How absurd is that? From On the flop, obviously not in the river, but on the flop. Just so ridiculous. I'm uh, going to go for the four bet again. If you guys remember last time, this player flatted then flatted. They jam. Uh, if they flat the button with ace, king, or queens are better, I mean, we're getting an insane price, 111 to 230. So, like, I think we just can't fall. I'd be really curious to see what they show up with. 8-5 suited. Perfect. All right, there we go. We do hold. Over here, sweet undergun open, hijack flat. We're squeezing big blind with kings. And I see a call. So heads up, another ace high flop, very tilting. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and bet small. Get called, eight turn, we'll check. Ace river. Don't jam. Oh, what bluff do they have? We have a spade, which isn't good. In theory, I'm supposed to call. I just, oh my god. I mean, with two aces out there, okay. I guess we call getting two to one. It feels ridiculous, but I just feel like we get shown the ace way more than I'd like. Jax, all right. So I turn Jax into bluff. We do win with the kings. Uh, cut off open with three bets. If you remember, this is the player yesterday did a bunch of jamming with random hands, so definitely would have been calling off. And open jams here. I know it's huge. We're calling though. Has five eight. Oh, I can't fade it. Oh my goodness, this guy is killing us. Uh, open under the gun, or sorry, open hijack, cut off flat. We'll squeeze. This player starts pretty short. They decided on a call after a while. Uh, we get a couple calls. Obviously, a huge flop here for us. Ace a ten at six. See the lead for 60. Uh, what's the play here? I think versus this player, we're going to just call and then call any turn against them, even if it's club. I think that's going to be our play here. This player calls as well, so we get a good turn card. So he puts in 11 bucks. Double flush draw board at this point, even if they just call, we're going to be jamming then. If they jam, we call them. All right, big spot here with Ace King. Hopefully, a lot of chips going our way. Ace seven of clubs, dude. This guy is literally crushing us, and it's absurd. All right, defend be blind seven five of clubs here. Get a absolutely massive flop. Open straight flush draw uh, with a pair. Um, so it's open flat. We call him big blind. Definitely setting up the check raise with this hand. That's what we'll do. This player clicks it for half their stack. I mean, even if they have aces, we're actually a favorite probably. So we'll put it in here. Obviously they're never folding at this point. Has aces and we have 61%. All right, we do get there, beautiful. So we get inverse aces and we have 61% with so many draws and a nice pot for us. All right, that wraps up a successful cash game session for us here today. So we played for five hours at a mix of 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 259 hands, a profit of 745. In the 1-2 game, 1,271 hands, a profit of 492. Total profit on the day at plus $1,238. Um, for the vlog today, you guys saw a bunch of hands from the 1-2 session. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to throw in some 1-2 hands, especially from a wild session as these 1-2 games the last two days have been absolutely insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed those hands. And if you did enjoy today's vlog, please be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to catch our live streams on Twitch, I post that schedule every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Twitch schedule tab.